What is up guys, this is Zach from Anglers Escape and I've been getting a lot of questions recently on what rod and reel I use for trophy catfishing. So recently last fall I caught an 80 pounder and I want to go ahead and show you guys my setup for that. And it's a real cheap setup so if you're looking to get into trophy catfishing, catfish over 40-50 pounds, you want something that's heavy duty but not super expensive, this is a good way to place to start. It's about $60 to $70 for the whole setup so it's a great deal. But basically I'll go ahead and start with the reel. I got a DF100A and so this is a really big heavy duty reel. It's pretty bulky which can be annoying but it can hold a ton of heavy pound test line and it's only $35 bucks, which is what's so great about it. So you can't beat it for $35. Sometimes you can get it on sale for $30 and this is on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. But the line I have on here is Brave Fisherman and for a thousand meters you can get it for about 18 bucks which is about as cheap as Braid comes especially when you're getting to that 100 pound test mark. And then you can also get this on Amazon, I'll link it in the description. A thousand meters is about six or seven spools worth which is about a lifetime supply or at least a few seasons supply if you fish a lot. And now I got a eight ounce sinker because I'm river fishing. Normally I'd be using two or three ounces in a lake but I want to talk about where I get cheap seekers. So Normally I can go on eBay and get it for about $250 to $3 a pound for lead sinkers and that includes shipping. However, sometimes on Craigslist I can find local people selling them. I live in Kansas City and I can get it for $1.50 to $2 a pound for lead. So eBay is a little more expensive because you have to ship it but still beats the heck out of any fishing shop or store or Walmart. And normally I do have a bead right here just to protect my knot. I don't have it today but it's not a big deal because I'm using a 100 pound test line. I've never had this fray and break. It's so strong, normally when I snag it, I have to cut the line. Pulling as hard as I can a lot of times won't even break this line. And a lot of times I'll hook up into a tree and I'll end up ripping a branch off the tree just because this line is so sturdy. But then I got a size one swivel and you want a pretty heavy duty swivel because I've actually straightened out swivels with this fishing line when I've snagged. If you're gonna invest in a heavy setup, you don't want your swivel to be your weak point. You wanna make sure it's all equally strong and get to be able to hold that 100 pound fish. So I got a size one barrel swivel and then I got about a one to two feet leader to a 10 aught hook and this is what I use for live bait. If I was using cut bait I'd be using about a six aught circle but you can get six aught to 10 aught circles about a hundred of them for about 17, 18 bucks on Amazon or eBay and again I'll put a link in the description but I bought a hundred of these things a few years back for like 15 bucks and I've had basically a lifetime supply and so finally guys, the rod, this is the one place where it isn't quite as important. So you can go to pretty much any shop, find a good, cheap, heavy to medium heavy action rod and just make sure it's a spinning rod and you want to make it, you want to find one that's about seven to eight feet long. And so this happens to be a seven foot heavy action rod. I got it from Walmart. It was only 20 bucks on sale, believe it or not. But if you can find a rod for 25 to 30 bucks at Walmart, that's heavy action to seven to eight foot. That's what you want to do. Again, most of these rods aren't going to break if you get that heavy action rod and you don't have to invest in a super expensive rod. But I hope you enjoy this video and maybe this will save you some money if you want to get into trophy catfishing. Thanks for watching.